uh, what about your yeah. seniors uh, did everyone get a job or was there a position that someone had to come back to india um yeah so i mean here uh, the job hunt and everything is all uh, very, like it all depends upon you thank you so much for taking out the time palak thank you so much uh, first things first please just mm-hmm. walk us through your journey hi my name is palak I did my undergraduate in computer science engineering uh, from a state college in Uttar Pradesh, and then while I was in my undergrad uh, school, I did a couple of research internships at different IITs. Like I did my in my second year, I did uh, an internship, a research internship at IIT Roorkee, and then in my third year, I did a research internship at IIT Kanpur, and I was very much like into technology. um i liked <laughs> i wanted to do uh, my initially i wanted to do my masters in computer science but then things changed and i got intrigued by management so currently i am doing masters in management at imperial and yeah that's uh, about my background so how hard was it to go from a college in up to imperial how hard was it <laughs> so um i would say yeah being in a state college in up and then coming to imperial was really uh, one of the most challenging things that i have done yet i w- because i was so passionate about it uh, imperial was my dream school so i imperial is a dream school for everybody <laughs> uh, out of the people i talk to on a daily basis yeah. imperial is a dream school for everyone yeah so it was it was it was more It was so much. I was so happy that day. I mean, it's one of my happiest memories. The day I got my offer letter. Um, so, yeah. If you want me to walk you through the process of uh, applying to that masters, that would be great. If you could do that, that would be great. Okay. So there are so Imperial or any other school like um, any other masters school. Uh, it requires you like it. It assesses your profile overall. it uh, there are different elements to your profile like your essays the most important one then your test scores gre gmat um then did you give gre or gmat uh, yeah i took gre um and uh, so because imperial had an option you could have either chosen gre or gmat so and i think like currently most business schools have an option for gre versus like, all yeah. the colleges have a gre gmat you can take either of, either of yeah either of them So yeah, SOPs are the most important. Uh, then test scores, GRE, GMAT. Then your work experience. If you have done uh, some research intern, sorry, not research. <laughs> That's my background. Any sort of internships, any internships would work. Uh, but you need to have like at least I would say go for internships. Start applying for internships as much as you can because that really uh, adds value to your profile. So yeah. and adds to your work experience and your cv did you have work experience or you came from a completely research based based background i didn't i didn't work in india i uh, did these like internships during my undergrad and then i came straight out of my undergrad here so what was your class composition like so how many people were from uh, india and subcontinent uh, so so the masters in management course it's like uh it's for people who it's like it's called mini mba so it's for people who want to do like mba uh, like mba modules who want to study mba modules or straight out of their college uh who don't have uh, like a huge like more than 2 years of work experience so my class on an average has 2 years of work experience like there are people who are straight out of undergrad and then there are people who have worked for like 2 3 years in india um or elsewhere in the world and um, yeah so it's like an average of 2 years of work experience so uh, almost my... ev- uh, so uh, on an average everyone has a 2 years of work experience yeah so the average class profile is less than 2 years i would say uh, so 2 years is the limit if you have more than 2 years uh, then also you can apply but uh, mim requires you to have a work experience of less than 2 uh, years Uh, uh one more thing uh what about your yeah. seniors uh did everyone get a job or was there a position that someone had to come back to india um yeah so i mean here uh, the job hunt and everything is all uh, very, like it all depends upon you how you you have to be on the lookout for jobs you have to apply take the assessments and you know land the job 
it's not uh, it's not like india where you know there there are recruitment drives placement drives uh, here every individual is for himself herself uh, yeah so it's very much dependent upon you how much effort you put in uh, people who have put in their uh, like huge efforts into their job hunt and everything have gotten a job at the end of the year and uh, yeah so it all depends upon you it co- comes down to you was yeah. there anyone yeah. who had to come back to india there must have been some people like two people i'm aware of couple of people that i'm aware of so uh, yeah. ideally the spend was somewhere around 35 lakh indian rupees if i'm not wrong uh yes yeah, so the course fee is the tuition fee is 33 um lakhs i know yeah the majority of the class uh, they landed a job because yeah because the uh, brand name plus your own efforts add a huge value um, to your profile and yeah so the majority of people got a job but you know there is like uh, the both side of spectrum people landed very good jobs and then there were people that have to like go back so when so, we talk yeah. about the brand name is imperial as good as it sounds like everyone i talk to wants to either end up in imperial or london school of economics i was recommending a student to his profile was not that great so i told that person that you can also look into kings and that person told me sir either imperial or london school of economics nothing else so is imperial as good as the name is um yeah that's a very subjective question uh, everybody has different opinions Uh, about the school about you know people some people like colleges in the US some people like the co- uh, colleges here so i would say yeah it's a very subjective question but if you ask me i enjoy every bit of it uh, ex- like imperial surpasses my expectations um it is i love the people over here the friends that i have made um the professors the resources and then the opportunities that come with it you know it's 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 just immense i wouldn't have um like experienced any of it had i been in india so I'm, i feel like i feel very grateful being here and being just able to study at imperial um and also yeah i was talking about the uh, the elements of your profile so i just forgot to mention how important letters of recommendations are uh while you apply you know and your undergrad scores also so uh who gave you a letter of recommendation was it your professors so uh, ideally there are two letter of recommendations required one from your uh, somebody who you have worked with professionally and then somebody um, like somebody uh, who has taught you in class so ideally two uh so yes. what would you recommend to a person who is most probably in first or second or third year of college what should be the first primary focus get more letter of recommendations from their teachers work on their sop or get a good standardized score or anything else ah oh, that's a great question i would say um somebody who's in the first year or second year of college i would say get uh, start applying for internships start doing internships because um i feel like still uh, in india people do their internships in their final term right and yeah. the rest of it's also like uh, the colleges sometimes the colleges don't allow sometimes the people are not aware so i would say um that's what i also tell my siblings to apply for as many internships and do them as much as you can because you will get to experience different you know different experiences you will get and that will um uh, like help you in your own self growth in your personal growth professional growth and so yeah i would say do internships and that would be number 1 oh, yeah, yeah, just one uh, thing so when you say internships do these uh, internships have to be something specific towards the management side ideally you'll not get that in india towards sales side would the would sales internship work uh, yeah i mean whatever you are passionate about whatever it could be anything so i did research internships which were based on computer architecture was uh, very academic uh, and then i uh, am currently doing management which is completely different so again it it depends upon your passion and then if you can link what you have done and justify that in your sop why you have done that uh, i think if you have a reason for that it will be very helpful and i think if you are doing something you have to have a reason for that right yeah so yeah. 
okay so the first thing that you should be doing is doing internships next yeah. uh, let's suppose then, i've done i'm done with internships then i would say um write your sops because sops are the one like it's the number one thing that can either make or break your application did you write so, your sops uh, on your own yeah you have to i would suggest everybody to write their sops on your on their own because um it's your essay and nobody can you know put your uh, self on the paper better than you nobody can do that for you so you i i believe that like many people uh, reach out to consultants to uh, you know for their <laughs> sops and stuff but i would say don't do that uh, try to avoid that uh, try to do it yourself and try to put yourself on the paper i mean before i was applying to imperial um, like before uh, all this thing i was also very much confused and i used to watch these youtube videos the one that we are doing right now yeah some were yeah videos like this and these actually helped me because i would um, get insights from the students and then try to you know um, inculcate that into my own writing and then try to make note of it and everybody would say that yeah essays have to be your own and uh, yeah no you can take inspiration from different places but then at the end of the day you have to go out there and write your own essay and one of the advice that i picked up um, from somebody uh, here on the on one of these youtube videos was well that um if somebody like your sop has to be such that if let's say uh, i have I have this piece of paper and it doesn't it's my essay and it doesn't have my name on it and let's say if you are the admission um, uh, this thing uh, rec- admission co- counselor. your counselor yeah. huh? and you pick up my essay and you read it you have to know that it's it's mine like you have to know that okay it's palak or you have to know that it's murad you know 